Hi folks, I wanted to uh, go over your paper with you for the Scarlet Letter. It's not really a paper, I call it uh, more of a, an, a modified annotated bibliography in which you're going to actually create your own top 10 list of the world's worst boyfriends ever. But there is uh, a certain criteria you need to follow. So I've included an article called uh, The World's Worst Boyfriends by Wendy Wasserstein, which was published in New York Woman magazine, I believe around 2004. Uh, Wendy Wasserstein has since died. But uh, the article, she kind of tongue in cheek goes through some of the worst traits in the boyfriends in history. But what jumps out at me is her entry onto the world's worst boyfriend list right here at number five. She says, the Reverend Arthur Dimsdale, after years of letting Hester Prynne take the rap, he finally makes a public confession. Thank you very much, Arthur. And even that public confession is in question as we're reading in the chapters uh, today and tomorrow. So um, what I thought we would do was take that ranking of Dimsdale as the fifth worst boyfriend in history and ask ourselves the question, would he still be ranked fifth? So what we're going to do is we're going to create our own, like, uh, like I said, modified version of an annotated bibliography and address the question, how bad is Dimsdale? So uh, the article, again, puts him at number five. You're going to uncover the modern day truth. So here's the assignment. Using her article as a starting point, you are going to create your own list, a modified annotated bibliography, addressing the question of Dimsdale status on the worst boyfriend ever list. So your first paragraph is going to be background information from the article. You're going to kind of lay out the whole concept of the world's worst boyfriend. You need to cite her article directly. And then you need a thesis statement for the overall paper itself. Why Dimsdale is on the list, where he fits, and everything like that. Then, after that first paragraph, you're going to have 10 subsequent entries or numbered paragraphs that address this concept. So each paragraph or each entry should have a title. Example I gave you is Bill Clinton. I mean, he certainly might fit on the list of worst boyfriends slash husbands ever. Um, and I called it Bill Clinton, the cheating president. So the statement, so I have a title and then I have a thesis statement that places Bill Clinton compared to Dimsdale. So my example of a thesis statement, while well, Dimsdale was arguably equal in stature to President Clinton relative to the societal structure of the time, Bill Clinton is not ranked as high as Dimsdale because at least he had the decency to admit what he had done. So that's my comparison in an individual thesis statement about those two. Then I'm going to explain it in a sentence or two at most. I'm going to have a quote that supports from both the Scarlet Letter and from an outside source. And then I'm going to have my citation. Um, we do not need the citation for the Scarlet Letter in every one. You only need it in the first one, or you can have it in the first paragraph with your citation for uh, Wendy Wasserstein's article. So we're going to have 10 of those, and then that'll take us to a conclusion paragraph where we give an overall justification or revisit our thesis statement justifying Dimsdale's placement on the list and summarizing the, the final statement about bad boyfriends. Okay, so it must be in proper MLA format to an extent. That means the citations need to be properly formatted and you need to follow the format of a general page with page numbers and your heading on the first page and stuff like that. The writing itself will be in bullets, so it won't necessarily be exact to MLA style. Um, you must have valid sources, so no blogs or websites are acceptable. They need to be news articles, magazine publications, the only criteria for that is it must be something that was in print or is regularly in print. So if you use a USA Today article from online, 
That is good because the USA Today is a print medium and that is acceptable. I want you to use the Purdue Owl, JSTOR, EBSCO, and our Media Center link, which I'll show you in just a second, to uh, navigate through the different re the research process. Okay, the other requirement, your 10 examples must fit a certain criteria. You must have three literary examples, three historical examples, three modern day pop cultural examples, and then Dimsdale himself somewhere on the list. So that's kind of the requirements of the project. So how do we get to the Media Center website? If you go to our VTSD uh, website at vtsd.com, you can simply, I'm waiting for it to load, so give me a second. Uh, we have a little lag. Sorry about that. Um, under schools, you can go to the VTSD school, and then there's going to be a link right there for Media Center research links. And we click there, and you'll see there's a whole bunch of different research links. JSTOR, uh, there's ProQuest, the his history study. You can use JSTOR. Uh, you can use ProQuest. You can use EBSCO. They have a link to Pur Purdue OWL here that has all of your formatting and any questions you may have for that. If you've never used um, EBSCO, EBSCO or um, Academic Search Premier or JSTOR, it's really quite simple. Uh, what you do is you just... Uh, click in into the JSTOR. It'll load directly to our page. You can go to advanced search. And then I can click uh, Dimsdale and I can add scarlet letter and then I can add a search box, terrible boyfriend and see what comes up. And then uh, when I search, we'll see everything that comes up on JSTOR that fits that criteria. There's no uh, results, probably because my bad wording of ter terrible boyfriend. But if I go uh, just Dimsdale, Scarlet Letter, and then I add the search box, um, mistreatment of women and I search that this time I should get some information I hope otherwise I'll feel silly but yeah so I get I get different results I have seven results of of that search and I can adjust the search any way I want find one if I find one I like I can do a couple of things like let's say I like this one, I can cite this item directly. So I can just take my MLA site and I can copy it and then put it right into my annotated bibliography. I can also download a PDF of it. I can, I can read a little excerpt from it. And if it looks like something I like, I can download a PDA, PDF and print it. And then I am all set. Okay, so if you have any questions, post it below in the video and we will... Kind of go from there. Okay, thank you.